Stuffing power-hungry hardware inside an ultra-portable laptop doesn't sound like a good idea but Acer claims that the Swift 3 OLED makes it in the right way. And we'll be happy to confirm or refute that, you'll know the outcome in a few minutes. On the outside, we have aluminum as far as the eye can see. The laptop is tough, with a rigid lid and base, while weighing only 1.4 kilograms and measuring a profile of 17.9 millimeters. The design has been kept as minimalistic as possible, with only a small Acer logo on the lid. The base houses the keyboard and touchpad, which are quite good. The key travel is a bit shorter, however, the feedback is clicky and uniform, making for comfortable typing. The pad is covered by ocean glass, which is plastic that is created from recycled ocean waste. It is in fact as smooth as glass, while the accuracy is on par as well. We have the input-output on the sides, which here consists of two full-sized USB ports, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.1 port, which we are very happy to see, and a 3.5mm audio jack. That's a pretty solid set for such a thin notebook. On the front, we're greeted by a 14-inch OLED panel with smooth 90Hz refresh rate and 2.8K resolution. The pixel density is 243 ppi, giving you a very sharp image. Furthermore, the OLED technology delivers true blacks and an infinite contrast ratio. The panel reaches 422 nits of brightness, while fully covering both the sRGB and DCI P3 gamuts. Color accuracy is alright, but could be better. And it gets better with our design and gaming profile, you'll find a link in the description below. The panel shows PWM usage up to 95 nits, after which the display is generally safe to use. Despite the Core i7-12650H, which is a 45W H-series processor, the 58.75Wh battery pack lasts for 14 hours and 17 minutes of web browsing, or 9 hours and 10 minutes of video playback, which is a great result. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Core i7 CPU doesn't score well in 3D rendering, for an H-series chip at least. It even manages to lose against the Ryzen 7 6850U, a 15W processor. However, it's much quicker in short loads, like our Photoshop benchmark, where it outperforms most of its competitors in the same class. There isn't a discrete GPU, only the Iris A Graphics G7, which is fine for daily use and some productivity, thanks to the hardware encoding core that is inside the CPU itself. Open up the laptop and you'll see the culprit behind the lack of performance from the Core i7-12650H. The Swift 3 uses a cooling setup with two heat pipes and one fan. While short load performance is good, with clock speeds and wattage running high, the final stages of the stress test show that both the P-cores and E-cores hover around the 2GHz mark. At all three stages, temperatures are quite high, maxing out at 95 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, comfort is great, since the single fan can't generate as much noise, despite trying its hardest. The base doesn't heat up, with the hotspot reaching just 41 degrees Celsius. Lastly, while you can't future-proof any laptop, RAM and storage upgradability are good to have. The Acer laptop has soldered memory, with only up to 16GB of quad-channel DDR5 RAM. On the bright side, the laptop offers not one but two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, and they support the ultra-fast generation for drives. We'll have our teardown video in the description, which shows how to access the two SSD slots. Props to Acer for crafting a quality device. We wouldn't recommend it for professional use with heavy applications but it's an exceptional laptop for office work, everyday use or photo editing with Photoshop. And while it wouldn't be the best choice for video editing, the great display, rigid chassis, wide port selection, and comfortable keyboard and trackpad make the Swift 3 OLED one of the best ultra-thin notebooks on the market. For more in-depth information, check out our detailed review, the link is in the description below the video.